have issues with commitment. That's beauty, you cheated on me. When it comes to design, let's just get that straight. Whoa. I went to good old Amazon and found this wireless light bulb. Aw, oh, so every light bulb is wireless. <laughs> But y'all know what I mean. I really wanted the living room to feel like a hug. Show me some love, motherfucker. Show me some love. With that, my gosh. <laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my OG subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. Okay guys, you know what time it is. Living room refresh. I finally got around to doing this video. I know I've been saying for quite some time. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Doing it, and doing it, and doing it well. We're here. Now if you're new here or you just Missed it. Here's what my living room used to look like. Well, let's take a look at our monitor. <laughs> and here is the living room. Um, not horrible, but definitely could be better. I do want to redo my coffee table. Since this is like such a large wall, I put this bookcase over here to kind of break it up but I, I don't want that right there anymore. I don't know if I want bookcases anymore. I might, so we're gonna try it out, but I know I don't want this aesthetic type deal anymore. I wanna take off the contact paper, take off the doors, and um, get this back white to kinda be like my filming room to see if I even want bookcases in here. Um, you guys know I did this wall art, I'm over that. We're gonna take these down because she's just way, this was like my restoration hardware, monochrome, black, white, neutral phase. And I'm just not there anymore, you know? But I do feel like I still want this to be kind of library-esque. Like, do you see all these books? This is insane. And I have even more than this. This has just kind of been a catch-all back here. And I feel like if I do bookcases, I can make it look really, really nice. So I definitely want to take these down, redo the art, keeping the pedestals over here. But I think we can do a little bit something more with this space. I feel like this is such a missed opportunity of like greatness, you know? Ooh, bright sun. Okay, let's go over here. So I definitely want to redo this. I got to fix these doors because they're still crooked. Ugh. And... This fig tree is one I got from Amazon. Um, I actually love it there, but I wanna change the pot. Rug is staying, coffee table is changing. We're just gonna change the whole, the vibe, because I feel like I need a little bit more moodiness. Um, oh, and of course, I wanna keep this here. It honestly might not change because, I mean, there isn't really much you can do with this. I kinda just use it as a drink side sofa table so yeah we got some things to do so as you can tell i was really in my rh bag previously with that my gosh <laughs> i was in my rh bag previously but my style has evolved and i'm just not there anymore not to say that there's anything wrong with that but i just wanted to switch things up to fit what i've been gravitating towards as of late. Of course, to get all my thoughts together, because you guys know I love a lot of design styles and it's hard to, I can't stick to just one. Let's just say that, okay? I have issues with commitment. That's beauty, you cheated on me. When it comes to design, let's just get that straight. So I went to Pinterest per usual and committed a board to what I wanted to bring to the space. Everything from shelf decor, aesthetic, colors, and even my wall art. Because my space is so open, I really wanted the living room to feel like a hug. Show me some love, show me some love. I really wanted it to feel like you were enveloped in 
just a really good design. Some moody, some warmth, a little organic, just all the things. So here we go. Let's hop in. So it's been raining for the past couple days, but I think the lighting is good enough. Um, first thing I want to do is go ahead and put the wall art up here because I feel like it's going to set the tone. So let's do that. So here's a painting that I've had for quite some time. Love it, but I want to remix it to match my aesthetic. Of course, the painting is gorgeous. The texture is amazing. I love those little smudges of blue and the grays and the creams. So I wanted to keep some of those elements. I created a color palette and went to Lowe's to color match. I decided on the shades, Relax Navy, Bittersweet Molasses, and Soul Searching. Gotta say these names are very enticing. Last minute, I decided to add some Thorny Bush, which I already had at the house because I've used it before. I wanted this painting to be very abstract so I didn't plan anything. I knew I wanted a lot of it to be that soul searching shade because it's so deep and rich so I used that as a base and layered and freestyled from there. I will say this blue was a little bit brighter than what the swatch was but I actually love it. And here's the finished product. Whoa. I may go back in later and tweak it a bit after I've lived with it for a while but actually it looks pretty good i wanted something abstract it's definitely abstract <laughs> okay um and i wanted some of these mauvey and deep purple tones with little pops of blue so yeah i'm digging it and i'm probably gonna hang this up but i want to get the shelf styling together first Okay, shelf styling is complete. Of course, I did my cafe style curtains again down here because I think it is so genius. Pretty happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and hang the picture up and do some lamps right here too. Am I right? And the only thing you guys have in common is the fact that you both love me. If your sister and I were both drowning and you could only save one of us, which one would it be? You, what do you, you guys are constantly making me choose. I can't choose, okay? The truth is, I'd probably die trying to save both of you. And I did top it. <laughs> So clearly this corner gets very dark. Um, there's no sunlight directing that way. So I wanted to put this lamp right here. It's from Zara Home. And I angled it so that when you turn it on, it serves as task lighting as well as a picture light. So yeah, I thought that was so dope. If you don't, right. I, don't what what you you believe. Did, right? I don't care what you believe. I don't care what you believe. Eh? It's fine, but I love it. I love how different it is from having a picture light up here and coming down. So different. Are y'all seeing how good that marble looks with the wall art? Ugh, dead. So I slowly came to see all of the things that you were made of. And now I hope my dreams and inspiration lead me to want to be. Okay, so on to my favorite part, coffee table styling. You guys know I found these on a Facebook marketplace um, quite a while ago, actually. And I love them. They're travertine. I got the set for $50, which was a steal. I stacked them for more levels, a little height play, if you will. 
and also for more surface area to decorate. Now, if you ask me, the key to a really good coffee table situation is making sure every vantage point has something interesting to look at. So whether you're sitting on the couch, walking into the living room, looking at it from my view right now, there should always be something interesting to look at. So yeah, let's get into that. I'm searching for a real love. I got to have a real love. so true. No, baby. I love you. I'm the one who the answer to the question in my mind. I just had to do surgery on the base of this tree so it could fit into here. So pretty much it wouldn't fit into that hole with the planter on it. So luckily I got it off and it wasn't hard at all. It probably took me at the most five minutes. So now we're just going to fill out the empty spaces with paper and add some moss on the top. Done. Love it. Last thing there is to do is to hang this beauty. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting to put this up and I'm so excited. So this can actually be hardwired if you're that committed, but y'all know I'm not doing this cause I'm in a rental. So I went to good old Amazon and found this wireless light bulb. Pause. So every light bulb is wireless, <laughs> but y'all know what I mean. I got a battery operated one. It's perfect because it can actually screw in and it has the USB charger, period. <sighs> so good and it has three different temperatures um oh wow <laughs> it's pretty bright um uh, i don't know i guess this is okay so this is the bright white which no ma'am this is the yellow which i'm probably gonna use i love a good golden light situation and this is between the two so if you don't really want bright white but don't want yellow this is the halfway point but like i said we're probably gonna do the yellow. So let's hang this baby up. Oh my gosh, are y'all dying? It is perfect. I can control the brightness. So this is a low glow and it goes up from there. And I just, I'm in love. I cannot wait to see this at night, but even right now, so dope. And we didn't have to hardwire. So I try my best and pray to God he send me someone real to correct me and to guide me towards the love my heart can feel. So I know I can be faithful, I can be your all in all. I can be good luck and through the summertime, winter, spring, and fall. tuning in spending some time with me so happy with the progress in here so happy i finally got the video out to you guys of course we'll be tweaking things here and there because y'all know me can't stop shopping design styles ever evolving so yeah don't forget to like comment and share hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't take care of yourselves those around you and your mental health and i will see you guys in my next video but until then peace out